Hi everyone, it's Abby Jo at Forgotten Way Farms and I'm really excited to be here today to do a cozy Christmas baking collaboration with my friend Natalie at Hey It's a Good Life and we're going to be doing lemon recipes. We're both sharing lemon recipes but what's even more exciting about this video is she sent these lemons to me from her own garden and there's a really cool story behind it which I'm excited to tell you about. She actually had this old dead tree and it was dying, it was diseased, and she started taking care of it, pruning it back, and using her amazing worm compost tea on it, and the tree just came back to life. And Natalie is just such a kindred spirit. She loves gardening, homesteading, baking, the cozy life, and I just, I love uh, getting this box every year. It's like a treasure. Last year I made lemon curd with these lemons. So this year we thought, let's do a collaboration where we each make something really delicious with lemons. Today I'm going to actually be baking scones. I have this recipe on the blog and on the blog I think it's a cranberry pecan and it's delicious and I also have a peach one on the blog too. And I will put both of those links in the description below but today I'm taking my regular scone recipe that I have on the blog and I'm just switching it up by adding some of these fresh lemons to the recipe and blueberries. And I think I'm gonna add pecans. So a pecan blueberry lemon scone today and it's going to be so yummy. So that is what I'm baking today and after this video is over, hop on over to see Natalie and what she's got in, going on in her kitchen at Hey It's a Good Life. You'll love browsing around and seeing all our good homesteady, fun, urban kitchen, homesteading videos. She is just such an amazing young lady and I love watching all her videos. She's so positive and she's such a sweet dear friend. So. Go over, like her stuff, subscribe, and join us even in this collaboration. We're doing it together, but if you want to, you know, tag us on Instagram or even make a video yourself, do it and uh, tag, you know, uh, Cozy Christmas Baking and add your lemon recipe to that. Alright, so these are the ingredients we have and everything will be in the description below. But we have two cups of flour, we have half a cup of butter all cubed up, we have about three quarters of a cup to one cup of blueberries, we have half a cup of pecans, we have baking soda, salt and baking powder in here. Exact measurements will be in the description. 
And we have a third cup of sugar, some lemon juice from our lemons, some lemon zest, and we have a little bit of, this is um, supposed to be buttermilk, but I just put milk with a little vinegar in and it made it nice and thick. So you're gonna put the dry ingredients in first and then you're gonna cut in the butter to like pea size pieces, just like making pie crust or biscuits. So after putting all of the dry ingredients and then working in the butter and getting it to pea sizes, you're going to add the liquid and then the blueberries and then the nuts. And at first it almost seems a little dry, but don't add any more liquid. Just take your spatula and just keep gently working the dough and it will all come together just like a nice biscuit dough that's kind of dry. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it out in your pan with like a a mat or wax um, paper or baking paper or whatever you guys use and then you'll pat it out in a circle score it and get it in the oven and I'll show you that next be amiss if I didn't talk about my cookbook so I wanted to show you guys that it is December and you guys can grab this on Amazon cozy Christmas baking that's kind of why we use the name cozy Christmas baking collaboration you can grab this cookbook and I don't have these recipes that we're doing today in here so these are new but there's fabulous fun recipes in here that my daughter and I did together and it's just full of like hygge atmosphere and how to enjoy a hygge Christmas. Now that the scones are out, it's time to dish up and tuck in some really delicious scones. And just take that time, the time that we often rush through, get busy doing. We need to just take that time and rest. much for joining me today on this cozy day baking good delicious treats for the holidays don't forget to go see my friend and see what she made and of course like this video and don't forget to subscribe